Hey guys, it's Kylan, aka Mr. Houston, and we are so glad to be with you today. Listen, if you haven't heard, if you haven't downloaded, you gotta go get the new album. It's called Kylan, His Love Confessions. It's available wherever you buy music, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, any place you could imagine. Listen, the album covers 17 songs and 13 originals and four tribute songs to greats like Luther Vandross, Stevie Wonder, and Bobby Caldwell, just to name a few. My name is Kylan. You can find me at Kylan Entertainment. Entertainment.com. Thank you again for your love. Go get the CD. Find a reason to live and to love everybody you come in contact with. And don't forget, this is Les Holmes, the stories of music. And welcome, everyone, to another edition of Les Home Stories of Music. And uh, by the way, if you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, share. And uh, we do this every Tuesday. This is where we find out what makes the artist the artist. And we've got a great guest with us today. You're going to love his story. Um He's opened up, he's worked with, well, I say opened up, he's worked with some great legends like Al Green, Stevie Wonder, Jonathan Butler, Smokey Robinson. He's written over 400 songs, jingles, and produced numerous projects. And uh, also, he was picked out of 800 national entries and uh, presented the Sony Innovators Award. And uh, yes. man, this is none other than Misty Houston, Kylan Kayum. How you doing, yes. man? I am doing wonderful, sir. And good afternoon to you and yours. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. I've been working on you for a minute, so I finally got you, man. So. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know what they say? They say good things come to those who wait. Listen so. to it. Listen to it. <laughs> so this is Houston's own and, and Misty Houston. So tell me, where did you get the name Misty Houston? Did you give yourself that name or did Houston give you that name? Well, I really, I, I, I really love being asked that question. Um, okay. I uh, was uh, being accorded by a, uh, a, um, an event producer and uh, I think I forget the name uh, of, of these people, oh, promoter, promoter. And okay. uh, he was a promoter that does a lot of work here in the city. He came to hear me sing and uh, several times. And over the course of about a, almost two years, he uh, eventually started just coming to me and saying, I've seen a lot of people and I've heard a lot of people, but you are hands down the best entertainer in Houston, hands down the best male vocalist in Houston. Hell, you are Mr. Houston. Well, <laughs> uh, and so, uh, you know, he said it comical. And I yeah. said, okay, all right. And so, but every time he'd introduce me, he introduced me as Mr. Houston. Well, um, uh, uh, around 2010, uh, or 2005, I got a vision of myself that was outside of, of, um, of music. That, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they say all of us has a calling of destiny. Well, I found that my gift was music, but that my purpose and destiny was to become an entrepreneur. And, and I have a passion uh, a passion that is greater than music, and that is to create jobs and be a blessing. Well, at the time, um, I had uh, matriculated down through, uh, you know, paying my dues. And around the year of 2012, I started working on a project that was going to be uh, a quite uh, a large mixed-use project here in the city of Houston. That's a fancy mm -hmm. term for a, a uh, project that involves uh, usually a combination of retail, entertainment, like uh, theaters, um, hospitality, uh, which is hotels, uh, residential, and classic uh, office space. Well, mm -hmm. at the time, it was about a 117-acre project, and it was going to employ about 25,000 people, uh, potentially within the first five years. And that, for me, gave me the rights to, if I could create 25,000 jobs and economically impact our city in that fashion, that to me gave me the right to wear the name. 
he didn't see that or even know that at the time. <laughs> okay. But because okay. I was simultaneously working both ends of that spectrum, I accepted the name because I'm like singing, eh, maybe not. Job creation, yeah, mm -hmm. I might have something there. And I accepted it and it has been now uh, has become uh, the name that uh, I'm equally as known by. And I don't even use my last name professionally. I know you mentioned it okay. earlier, but I could just go by Kylan or Mr. Houston. So okay. there it okay. is. There's the story. Okay. <laughs> yes, wow. Wow. So tell me about tell me about this this Sony Innovators Award. Where, well, how, the interesting thing about that is Sony Innovators mm -hmm. Award was almost uh ugh, I'm telling my age now. Um <laughs> let's just say it was um 20 something out 30 something odd years ago um okay. i won the award i was a lad and i just started writing music and and had busted on the music scene as far as being discovered the sony innovators award is something uh that was uh, started uh by the sony music corp in new york and uh the winter preview but prior to me uh my year was the last year that it was uh done but uh they basically uh solidified uh or uh sequestered about 800 national entries for music and they also did music movies motion pictures and other uh art forms but the uh the recipient of of the award prior to me was i'll be sure that's how he got his start and so right. i was selected for songwriting and for music uh, capacity but here uh, fast forward 30 years and mm -hmm. uh, this year in 2020, I was uh, selected out of another entry uh, that had 400 national entries, and that's called the BMAs, the Black Music Awards, yeah. which was yeah. held in about uh, a dozen or more cities, inclusive of Chicago, Atlanta, Detroit, Houston, uh, Los Angeles, uh, Nashville, and, uh, and I think Washington, D.C. Well, I was uh -huh. selected uh, in two categories, ended up winning best male vocalist for the texas region but i but i ended up also winning and being nominated for entertainer of the year nationally and that was award to me last year so there's been some updates in the awards category but okay. none is giving me more pleasure than just knowing um that uh you know uh my music can be heard now so really excited about that okay and speaking of bma's matter of fact They've got something going on right now today, this weekend, uh, in in Vegas. So I know that because I was supposed to be there. <laughs> so yeah, I was actually supposed to be there, but uh, you know, I'm a father and a husband, so I yeah. promised my yeah. kids a summer a summer vacation, and I just. Yeah. There wasn't uh, with with um, with some of my other entrepreneurial pursuits and balancing being a father, husband, and a business owner. I had yes, to choose, sir. and fortunately, I had to choose to be a dad. Ah, greatest job on earth, I might say. <laughs> so yeah, man, yeah, it's great. Gotcha. It's great. So man, you you um, I've, I've checked you out. I've been I've been looking at you, uh, studying you, and um. Man, you're you're an awesome singer, brother. I I gotta give it to you, man. Um, wow. You, you 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 know, I, I know you say, well, bro, you, I never heard of you before, but but man, I've I've listened to your music, and um, I kind of know a little something about music a little bit, and we'll talk about that later. But dude, bro, okay. you are you are great, man. You are. Um, and I want wow. I Bless want you, brother. Every, I man. But I got to give it to you. I, I got to give you your props, bro. Um, everyone should know about you. And um, and I'm glad I have this platform uh, just to help you get get to to those other levels. Uh, so someone else above me can can get you and, and reach back and say, hey, man, you need to be here. Um, but you've got this thing. I, I call it a thing. It's it's a gift. And uh, bro, I know I know you hear it all the time this you got this luther swag you got that whole thing you got that lock you got that on lock there <laughs> <laughs> really to be honest with you my my idol as far as music was concerned was more Stephen Norris, you know and stevie wonder than luther but somehow um uh stevie showed up in some of my writings 
but Luther uh, has impacted my timbre intentionally, uh, and, 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 and in some ways intentionally, especially when I do his covers, because it always pays to sound uh, resemble the artist. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it yeah. was never about uh, being Mr. Vandross or being the next Luther or being the next anything. It just, uh, you know, I just say, it just began to be an, an obvious platform that uh, that's worked for me, actually. Because, you know, everybody loves Luther. Big and, 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 and skinny. Everybody loves. Yeah. Luther. Yeah. Big and skinny, uh, cross generational, cross income and cross racial mm -hmm. boundaries. Luther mm -hmm. has certainly uh, instituted uh, one of the greatest uh, male vocalist uh, legends ever to live. Uh, mm -hmm. He's been incredible. Yes, indeed. So here's a question I ask every artist that comes on on the show, every guest. Let's go. So, so it, it's it's easy. It's easy. You've heard it before. Um, if you had an opportunity to work with anybody, your choice. You can pick them. Who would you choose? Oh, I haven't heard that question proposed. Neither have I thought of the answer. And and eons. I I would probably go with with Stevie. Um, okay. Uh, and then I would, um, to be honest with you, uh, you know, I musically, I have to say Stevie, but okay. uh, my idol, my truest idol, uh, as far as thinking is concerned, because I'm a thinker and I'm, mm. I, I, I aspire to be and do believe that I'm called to be a world changer. Um, then this is totally different. But the my number one person I'd like to collaborate with in just conversation is Barack Obama. I like that. I like that. <laughs> it's because, you came straight out of left. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, because. yeah, yeah. Because I, I have, I have such revere for the man. Not, I'm not into politics. I'm not a politician. Neither do mm -hmm. I. I believe that politicians are necessarily um, squeaky clean individuals, irregardless to what party you 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 believe. For. But what mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. respect for, what I have respect for, what I have respect for, what I have respect for the office and for the opposition and the challenges of that office, whether it be Bush, Trump, or Barack, or or George uh, George Clinton, <laughs> uh, P. Funk, no, but Bill Clinton. <laughs> uh, uh, I have respect for the the office, and mm -hmm. then I have respect for what it takes to be in that position, and then I have the ultimate respect for as an African American male that would be targeted uh, by his ethnicity, um, mm -hmm. and the preparation that it must have took. I think Barack was not only president in his mind before he was president, because mm -hmm. they couldn't find anything on him. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. and then I love the fact that he took, he handled that the, the heat of that position with such grace and tenacity. You never saw him sweat. And then, uh, and then uh, to you know to do it eight years without scandal, uh, to do it and to hold down being a family and a father and a mentor. I'm just like I want to know what causes you to be in that position and take that heat pressure and all the all the vicissitudes that come with that. Because if mm -hmm. I can get that, I can apply that to my music. I can apply that to my business. I can apply that to my marriage. I can apply that to my fatherhood. And I can apply that to my entrepreneurial pursuits. There is no area I can lose if I could just learn how to mm -hmm. take that licking and keep on ticking and do it with grace, dignity, and poise. Oh, that just lights my fire. I, you're talking about singing. I, I can sing a new song because now I know how to take the heat that comes with yeah. success. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Preaching. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, you're good. You're good. Because yeah, you know, I, was, I was just thinking about you. I was just thinking about you. You you didn't ask for money or anything like that. You asked for wisdom. So that's what the same that's the same yeah. thing Solomon asked for. Oh, Solomon asked for what wisdom. you know about that? What you know about that? <laughs> he said, Give me the wisdom of how to deal with your people. And God said to him, Because you could have asked for wealth and for influence and power, but because you yeah. asked for the thing to make me proud of you as a servant, I'm gonna give you what you did. Oh my God. Now you go take me to no, I'm a church boy. Don't go and I'm a worshiper to my soul, to my core. I tell you, I love God and I love his people. But yeah, man, um, out musically, it would be Stevie Wonder. Um, uh, conversationally, it would be uh, it would be uh, Barack Obama. 
Uh, mm -hmm. And then, of course, I've got a couple underneath there, like Tyler Perry, and then, of course, my bishop, who I have the pleasure of knowing personally, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Uh, but the, okay. yeah, these are the people like, you know, because when you ask a question like that, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, how can I get the most juice out mm -hmm. of what I want? You know, you know, teach me how to fish and then whatever, mm -hmm. wherever I throw my rod, I'm going to come mm -hmm. back with something much bigger than what I thought because I because I got the method down. <laughs> I'm reaching my hand in my pocket right now. <laughs> Pass the offering plate. I'm finished. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Bless me. That's a hey, bless me. That's what j said. Enlarge my territory. Yes, sir. Oh, man. You are great, man. So let, let's shift. Let's shift real quick. Let's, let's get okay. to your projects, man. So okay. I was listening to something earlier, man. And, um, and it's it's your it's your song. It's when you heard I bleed, and it's oh it's a it's a part in there. It it the instrumental part. It's like the the beginning. It reminds uh -huh. me of a song. I'm grateful, so grateful. I'm grateful, so grateful, Master, to you. Now, that's what I heard. Now okay. you, you it, it, it don't worry about it. you and I talk offline about that. But that's what okay. I heard. That, now, now I'm not saying I'm not saying you took some music from it, anybody. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying right. I heard that. But then, yes, then when I listened to the lyrics, I was like, "Wow, okay." So this is a good wedding song. It's a good, um, um, it anything that's inspirational. It's it's motivating and inspirational. So, you know, I was listening to the song and it yes, can sir. be a, a wedding song. It can be almost a praise and worship song. I mean, I just it was it's very inspirational. So now that's that's my takeaway. So you tell me about the song. OK, well, let me tell you, first of all, uh, uh, to tell you about the song, I must tell you about its origin. Uh, it was okay. written by a, 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 a beautiful woman by the name of Solaria Skinner. Solaria Skinner mm -hmm. is the uh, is the is the uh, writer for the playwright Sericia Curtis for a gospel stage play called. Um, um, oh, God, I'm having a senior moment. Um, <laughs> um, well, it's something something to do with purpose. And um, and so. Um, and the stage play was uh, is traveled abroad, and uh, I I was uh, fortunate uh, fortunately asked to by the guy who named me Mr. Houston, the promoter. He brought me this this opportunity uh, to play a husband that was married to a woman that had been married before, and mm -hmm. had uh, experienced cancer uh, in the third degree stage. Uh, that throughout that uh, experience, the husband decided to walk out on her. She went into remission and meets me and then marries me. And then uh, within a couple of years of our uh, marriage, and the, uh, by the way, the name of the play is called Soul Purpose. Just that okay. I apologize for that. That couldn't come back to me. I'm multitasking. But um, right. so um, in the in the in the play, the woman gets to the place where she is having um experiencing the dire consequences and results of being uh in the last stage stage four of of cancer and mm -hmm. uh, so the plays out where he's comforting her at home and he comes home to her and she her hair is falling out and he's trying to console her and says hey um what can i do sweetheart her answer to him in that moment is um I tell you what you can do. You can do what men do. You can leave because mm. I've never experienced a man in, in a scenario like this where he did he could handle what's happening to me. I'm ugly. My hair is falling out. I'm dying. I don't have a reason to live. And why would you want to stay? So you can just save me all of that sweet stuff and get your stuff and go ahead and go. And mm. so my response to her is first and foremost let me apologize for what he did and yeah. let me therefore quantify that the difference between him and me is that when you hurt i bleed it is not i am not disconnected 
from your pain, your journey, or your journey through your pain. I am affected and infected by what affects you. So therefore, sweetheart, when you look into my eyes and see me by your side, because baby, you're my queen and, 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 and God made you for me, you know, and I will be right here. I'm, you never have to fear. I'll wipe away all of your tears because uh, when you hurt, Ah, your man bleeds, baby. It's not, you know, it's not even it's not even an option for me not to be connected to whatever you're going through, the process of going through, and the pain and the celebration of coming out of it. And so when I um and so they uh me being a singer and being Mr. Houston, they said, mm -hmm. Okay, we want you to act, but you gotta sing. So, bro, this woman picked up a pen and started writing this song. And when she wrote it, uh, we did it here in Houston, and it was we had about 2,500 people that showed up, and I tell you what, it was all the fanfare. And the song to date, I have never sang a song. There's only one other song that I do in my show uh, that's called "House Is Not of Home," which is the cover uh, by uh, by Dion Warwick that was made infamous by Mr. Luke Evangelos. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. And that mm -hmm. song uh, has always gotten the response that is, "Oh my God, sing that!" Uh, until when you heard I Bleed came out. And now it is not only I've done a, a complete music video which is available on YouTube. And by the way, the album is called His Love Confession, available on all places that you buy music, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, uh, the whole works, Google, uh, YouTube, the whole nine yards. But um, it has been a blessing because when you heard I Bleed is the map for what I believe every man should feel toward his woman every woman should hear from her man and every woman that is expecting to be in a relationship is a map that he needs to be kind of talking like when he get here <laughs> all right all right well well let's let everybody else who hasn't check out when i hurt when you hurt i bleed i bleed yes sir. all right all right look into my eyes See me by your side Baby, you're my queen And God made you for me I will be right here You never have
So, Kylan, Mr. Houston, yes, before yes, I let you go, man, what's what's next on the agenda for Kylan? What 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 do well, you have I'm, coming up? I'm really excited to say that uh, I have been featured in a new motion picture that is a uh, an inspirational motion picture called The Prodigal Son that is okay. going to be released this fall in October. I am playing one of the leading roles in the movie, and I'm very excited about that. It's my first motion picture, and four of my songs have also been selected for the soundtrack, so it's right. a kind of a double whammy. Uh, I am also equally excited about some of the entrepreneurial pursuits that I have that are going on, inclusive of a reopening my restaurant called Kylan's here in the city of Houston okay. and abroad. And I also right. have a, a bar and, and some other things that I'm working on, as well as some other you know pursuits. But most importantly, I'm just looking forward to hearing uh, the comments from your show and uh, experiencing some of uh, the responses from those that enjoy what I do musically. All right. All right. So how yeah. can we how can we follow you and keep in touch and see what's going on with you? Well, Kylan, K-I-L-A-N-D is my name. It is also uh -huh. my entertainment company, which is called Kylan Entertainment, which is okay. not only my handle for Instagram, but is also my website. And uh, okay. and so and that also is my email address. So Kylan Entertainment is simply the way to reach me. You can do Kylan Entertainment at Gmail. You could do KylanEntertainment.com, which finds uh, me where I'm going to be performing and uh, most of my videos and pictures, bios, etc. And then Kylan Entertainment on, uh, on Instagram is where you can follow me personally and just, you know, kind of see where I'm at and what I'm doing. Really excited about all that's going on in Houston and abroad. And I thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of what you're doing here on your show. Man, I, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day. And I see you busy and you took time out to call me and, and jump on the line and do this. And you pulled over in a safe spot. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. For I, being did, safe. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. And I thank you. Yeah. And we got to get you back on, man. And uh, here's here's one more thing. I, I got I to gotta ask you this. Yes, sir. Acting or singing? Which one? Which one? If you had to choose, which one? Um. Oh. Mm. Mm. I, I I would have to say a singing <laughs> actor. <laughs> Good answer. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. They both they both feed me. They both feed okay. me. They both yeah, feed yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and you know. Uh, you got to find what feeds you and you got to be OK with what feeds you. And then you've got yeah. to learn balance and how not to be uh, glutton with what feeds yeah. you. Yeah. 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 I got you. All right. That's All right, key, man. man. That's my thing. <laughs> so. All right. Hey, look, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Houston himself, Mr. Kylan.
man, thank you so much yes. for being on the show. I appreciate it. Well, thank that. you for having me today. I'm in my, I'm in my, you know, I own a trucking company, so I'm in my trucking gear today. I'm, you know, brother working. And but the time I'm saying I get to be all foo food and have fancy free with my hats and my suits and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, man, it's good to see you, man. Appreciate the love, my brother. Not a problem. So everyone, if you like, again, if you like this show, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you share it and make sure you subscribe. Again, thank you so much, my brother, and you take care. Mr. Thank Kyle. you again. And everybody, listen, download that music. It's Highland, and that's spelled K-I-L-A-N-D, and the album is entitled His Love Confessions. All right. All right. God bless.